dear student in this video we are going to learn chapter number 9 discount and commission if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe it today itself let's start let's learn each item to be sold has a price tag on it the price on that tag is the mark price of the item and shopkeeper offers discounts on the mark price while selling the object the actual amount by which he reduces the mark price is called a discount so selling price equals to mark price minus discount suppose the price marked on the article is rupees 100 and discount given by shopkeeper is rupees 10 so the selling price will be 100 minus 10 that is rupees 90 generally discount is given in terms of the percentage a 20% discount means that an item should be sold by reducing the mark price by 20% that is if the mark price of an item is rupees 100 a discount of rupees 20 is given on it hence the selling price of the item will be 100 minus 20 equals rupees 80 let's start practice set 9.1 question number 1 if the mark price is rupees 1700 selling price is rupees 1540 then find the discount so price of the article is given 1700 the mark price of an article is 1700 but the shopkeeper is selling it in rupees 1540 which is less than the mark price it means shopkeeper is offering discount so to know the discount offered by a shopkeeper we need to subtract selling price from mark price so selling price equals to 1540 so the formula for the discount is mark price minus selling price that is 1700 minus 1540 so discount equals rupees 160 Question number two: If mark price rupees nine hundred ninety and percentage of discount is ten, then find the selling price. Here, the mark price of a given object is rupees nine hundred ninety. Percent discount is ten percent. Discount is always calculated on the mark price. So first, we will find the discount. on rupees 990 so discount equals to 10% of mark price that means 10% of 990 so discount equals to 10% means 10 out of 100 so 10 upon 100 into 990 now after the simplification we will get discount equals rupees 99 so here shopkeeper is giving discount of rupees 99 on the mark price 990 so the selling price will be mark price minus discount selling price equals to mark price minus discount and here mark price is 990 and discount is 99 so 990 minus 99 equals to rupees 891 so the selling price is rupees 891 if the selling price is rupees 900 discount is 20% then find the mark price so here 20% discount means if the mark price 
of the article is rupees hundred, then the discount will be rupees twenty. So rupees twenty will be the discount on rupees hundred. So let the mark price be rupees hundred. Since the discount given is twenty percent, hence amount of discount is rupees twenty. So selling price equals to hundred minus twenty, right? Because the mark price is hundred, and there is a discount of twenty percent. Twenty percent means rupees twenty on each hundred. So the selling price equals to hundred minus twenty, that is rupees eighty. Let the actual mark price be rupees x. So for the mark price of rupees x, selling price is rupees nine hundred. So eighty upon hundred equals to nine hundred upon x. So here the ratio of mark price is equals to ratio of selling price. So eighty into x equals to hundred into nine hundred. So x equals to hundred into nine hundred upon eighty. So x equals to rupees one thousand. One hundred twenty-five. So the mark price is rupees one thousand one hundred twenty-five. Here we have next question. The mark price of the fan is rupees three thousand. Shopkeeper gave twelve percent discount on it. Find the total discount and selling price of the fan. So here mark price of the fan is rupees three thousand. And discount offered on the mark price is twelve percent. So first we need to find out the discount, and we will calculate discount on the mark price. So discount is twelve percent of three thousand. Discount equals to twelve percent of three thousand. So discount equals to three thousand into twelve upon hundred. So the discount equals to thirty into twelve. That is rupees three hundred and sixty. Now to know the selling price of the fan, we need to subtract discount from mark price. So actual price of the mark price, actual price of the fan is rupees three thousand, and shopkeeper is given discount of rupees three hundred and sixty. So the selling price equals to three thousand minus three hundred and sixty. That would be. Two thousand six hundred and forty. So the total discount is rupees three hundred and sixty, and the selling price of the fan is rupees two thousand six hundred and forty. Question number six: A shopkeeper gives eleven percent discount on a television set. Hence, the cost price of it is rupees twenty-two thousand two hundred and fifty. Then find the mark price of the television set. So here, selling price of a television set is twenty-two thousand two hundred fifty, and discount percent offered by a shopkeeper is eleven percent. Suppose the mark price be rupees hundred. Percent discount is eleven. So eleven percent of hundred means rupees eleven. So the amount of discount is rupees eleven. And selling price equals to mark price minus discount. That is hundred minus eleven equals rupees eighty nine. Let the actual mark price of a television set is rupees X. So when the mark price of a television set is rupees X, then the selling price is rupees twenty-two thousand two hundred and fifty. Now here, ratio of mark price equals to ratio of selling price. That means mark price upon mark price equals to selling price upon selling price. That means X upon hundred equals to twenty-two thousand two hundred fifty upon eighty-nine. Therefore. Eighty-nine into x equals to hundred into twenty-two thousand two hundred and fifty. So x equals to hundred into twenty-two thousand two hundred fifty whole upon eighty-nine. 
now we will go for cancellation part so we will get x equals to 100 into 250 so x equals to 25,000 so the mark price of the television set is rupees 25,000 Shopkeeper decides to sell a certain item at a certain price. He takes the price on the item by increasing the decided price by 25%. While selling the item, he offers 20% discount. Find how many more or less percent he gets on the decided price. Suppose uh, here it is given price increase by 25%. So if the mark price is rupees 100. Okay, let the decided price be rupees 100. So here the shopkeeper is increasing the price by 25%. So 25% of rupees 100 will be 25. Right, so increase in price is rupees 25. So the shopkeeper marks the price equals to 100 plus 25. Okay, we have decided the price is rupees 100. And your shopkeeper is has increased the price by 25 percent that means rupees 25 so the shopkeeper marks the price equals to 100 plus 25 that is rupees 125 so mark price is rupees 125 it is a price which was marked by shopkeeper now he is offering a discount of 20 percent on 125 so discount equals to 20% of 125. So discount equals to 125 into 20 upon 100. So discount equals to 2500 upon 100. That gives us rupees 25. Okay, so your shopkeeper is giving discount of 25 rupees on the mark price 125. So the selling price will be mark price minus discount. And your mark price is 125 and discount is 25. So 125 minus 25 is rupees 100. So the selling price is rupees 100. So here the decided price was rupees 100. And the shopkeeper sold it in rupees 100. So here mark price and selling price of the article is same. Hence the shopkeeper gets neither more nor less than the decided price that is he gets 0% or more or less